I'm here at the DJI event at NAB in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by Sheldon uh, from DJI and our good friend Rodney Charters, who's volunteered to work for New Shooter this week with us. And this is the brand new Ronin MX. Correct. Please tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Ronin and the Ronin M um, were a tantamount in sort of revolutionizing the three-axis handheld stabilizer uh, market. Uh, but one thing they both lacked was an internal GPS unit. So when you tried mounting them to, let's say, you know, a fast-moving vehicle, like a Russian arm type setup or a drone or an aircraft, um, the, the Ronin and Ronin M did not take into account G-force, speed, and acceleration, which would result in uh, loss of horizon. Um, this is the first uh, handheld stabilizer that we've produced that actually incorporates an internal GPS unit, um, basically allowing you to go from a handheld setup to a fast-moving aircraft setup to a fast-moving car mount setup and then back to handheld, um, really without wasting any time on set at all. And in terms of overall design, it's similar but not quite the same. You've changed a few things. I mean, hold it up, Rodney, let's have a look. So one of the first things you've done is you've changed the battery arrangement. What, what have you done there? Uh, yeah, we, we realized uh, after real, after releasing the Ronin and Ronin M that um, there really was no need to you know mount heavy batteries uh, to to bigger cameras like Reds or you know Alexa M, and so we decided to put a battery on the back that's similar to the original Ronin battery, but was really just for you know was really just for providing. Um, camera power, um, not just for your camera, but also using this PTAP for accessories like a follow focus or wireless video downlink. So um, this battery here does not power the Ronin, it just powers accessories. Yeah, it powers it powers whatever you mount on the Ronin. Uh, and meanwhile, we've moved the gimbal battery to the front. And, and why is that? Why is it at the front now? How does that help? It's, it actually creates, uh, a you know, in terms of physics, the front-mounted battery uh, creates a better counterweight towards the front, uh, leading to a more efficient use of power and m even more stabilization. But these two batteries, they look very different in shape and size. Do, uh, do they have the same charger, or are they completely different? Uh, they do not. You charge them uh, via different chargers. Okay, and do you, do you have to attach the battery to the back, or is that removable? You do not have to attach the battery to the back. It, it is removable. Um, in terms of... Uh this mount here, is this exactly the same mount as the previous Ronin's? Um, in terms of the design, yes, uh, but the the bottom part, the part that is on top of the pan motor actually has some um, electronics that allow it to communicate with our new uh, M600. Um, again, uh, not only does, does this have a built-in GPS unit, but it also has built-in functionality to talk to the brain of our new Matri 600 to get even more information about speed, G-forces, uh, resistance, and other uh, conditions that are being exerted upon it in flight. But if you have accessories that mount the previous uh, Ronin's to a car or to whatever, um, uh, uh, Russian arm, you'll be able to use it. This is the same physical uh, mount. Yes, that's correct. Uh, this is the same uh, physical mount as before. And then light bridge. That's another big change. Uh, what have you done there? Well, uh, as you see here, there is an HDMI out. Um, and this HDMI out right here uh, can be used on the Matri 600 to uh, output a live uh, HD um, downlink to you know your remote. And what, what resolution and frame rate do you get with that? Uh, I believe that the frame rate for Lightbridge 2 is uh, 1080p60. Okay, I mean that that's pretty impressive. Um, and when are you going to be able to to buy this, and how much is it going to cost, and where's it actually, where's it fit? Um, I believe that the price is one five nine nine as of now. Um, this should be going up on our website uh, very soon, uh, very very soon. I can't say exactly when, but probably within a few days or less. Um, and it's also available in, as a combo package with the Neumetry 600. Um, and when buying that as a combo, that price is $5,999. Sheldon, thank you very much. Thank you.